I do, I do these courses on presentation skills training, and uh, two days, and we video people, only eight people. I, I, mainly, I like to actually do it rather than teach people how to do it. But I talk about the purpose of the talk and the ABC of a talk, and I do all that. And uh, people have to make 90-second talks. And this guy came up to me, he'd be about 27, 28, I guess, and he said, Phil, would you mind terribly if I did my best man's speech as my 90-second talk? I said, I don't mind, because it's supposed to be a business talk, really. But there are eight people from eight different companies. I don't mind, do your best man's speech if you want. Great. So, he got up, and in front of the other eight or nine people, he made this speech, 90-second version of his best man's speech, which he was delivering on the Saturday, and this is Thursday. Sorry, this was Wednesday. It was a two-day course. And it was funny. It was funny. It involved, basically, the groom naked, cling film, lamp posts, hiring a stripper who was a policewoman. But when the policewoman turned up, it wasn't a stripper, it was a policewoman. It was a very funny story. And he told it well in 90 seconds. You couldn't help but laugh. And at half past five, everybody was going. I said, can I ask you a few questions about your speech? He said, yeah, sure. I said, it's really good, really funny. You tell it well. I said, what's the purpose of your talk? on the day and he said to make people laugh I said that's great that's a nice purpose how many people are there he said about 120 I said how many people do you think will find it's funny and he took a step back and he said um, well my friends will I said yeah I'm sure they will it's a great story I said how many of your friends are there he said about 12 I said so 120 people there 12 people will think it's really funny won't they what about the hundred other 108 will they think it's funny and he paused and he said Hmm, you did this. He said, uh, perhaps the bride's mother and father wouldn't think it's funny. I said, no. I said, why don't you ever think about what the real purpose of your talk is? Come back tomorrow. And, okay, I will. So he arrived early the next day. He says, Phil, yeah, I've been thinking. He said, I think the purpose of my talk is to make the bride's parents feel good about the groom. I said, that's a lovely purpose. That really is a nice purpose. I said, your talk about the cling film and the policewoman. I said, it's funny as hell. Tell it in the bar. It's not for... He said, no, it's not. And he practised this talk and he did it again. And then he phoned me on the Monday morning. He didn't need to do this. He phoned me on the Monday and said, um, did the best man's speech. He said, people came up to me afterwards and said, thank you very much. That was excellent. I really enjoyed your talk. He said, I'm glad of what you told me. I didn't tell him anything. I just asked him questions about what his purpose was. Does that make sense to you? 